Hey guys, this is Rob. Today we're going to do a front band adjustment on a uh, 4.8 RE transmission. This is uh, behind a 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel on a Dodge Ram 2500. We'll uh, check out the tools we're going to use. So we got a, the main ones are a uh, Torx 40 and a uh, 3 quarter inch wrench or 19 millimeter will work. Um, and you're going to need an inch pound torque wrench set to 72 inch pounds. Uh, the front band is accessible from outside the transmission case and uh, the rear band doesn't often need to be uh, adjusted uh, because it only gets applied um, in manual first and reverse. Uh, and also you have to take the pan off to adjust that one but typically, uh, from what I understand, they're not out of adjustment. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do here, uh, we got to loosen up the uh, lock nut so we can make our adjustment. This is where this crow's foot comes in handy. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of room to work up here. So we got that broken loose and we got to back that way off so we can give ourselves plenty of room to adjust. Sometimes you got to stick a, uh, this is actually a number 40 Torx in there and you got to put a Torx on there and uh, unscrew the nut to keep the adjustment um, bolt from coming out as you unscrew it. You can see it, they kind of both want to move together there. Alright, so we got our number 40 Torx there and we can use that to hold that adjustment screw in place while we back that nut off. Okay, so the next step is you're going to use that number 40 Torx and you're just going to screw the whole assembly in until it stops. Okay, so that one is stopped. And then we need to put that inch pound torque wrench on there. Now for me, I don't have the uh, the right adapter to get from a small ratchet to a larger one. So that's why I gotta cheat a little bit and use that flat tip because it'll fit in that Torx adjustment screw. Um, the right torque setting is 72 inch pounds. So we're going to get that in there. And we'll tighten it up until we get the click on the torque wrench. There we go. Let's check it one more time just to be sure. All right, so there's 72 inch pounds. And we're just gonna rotate the uh, locking nut just to make sure that what we torqued down was the adjustment screw and not the locking nut on the housing. So we can see we've done that. Okay, so now I don't need to use the uh, torque wrench anymore. You can go back to the right tool for the job, which is the uh, Torx 40. We're actually going to back this off an inch and three quarter, or I'm sorry, one and three quarter turns. So you just kind of find a mark on your socket, make one full revolution back in the opposite direction that you just did. Okay, so there's one. And there's three quarters. So now we're going to hold the adjustment screw in place and we're going to tighten down 
a lock nut. All right, so we get that crow's foot back up there. And this one just won't snug, just to keep the adjustment screw from coming out. All right, and that is it. It's as simple as it can get. So if you like the video, it's a 48RE front band adjustment and setting the proper torque.